God, I'm just trying to think about where I can go and actually fire without being spotted. I've got a funny feeling I can literally sit up there and fire without being spotted. It could be a bit of a risk, but I'm al it's a risk that I'm almost willing to make. It is a British E25. British E25, you say. Well, that explains the things. That explains the things, my man. Alrighty then, so let's talk about the E25. It has preferential matchmaking, so this matchup is as bad as it can be. It never has to meet tier 9 tanks. Although, actually, this isn't as bad as it could be, because it could be a matchup against only tier 7s and tier 8s. So the fact that there's tier 6s means that at least I've got um, a little bit of an opportunity. Drop at 4%. Uh, expectation values probably change it with this tank. I believe I haven't played with this tank in a while. And you can check out expectation values for this tank in the index page. Maybe for some weird reason it's raising up. What is your internet speed? 100 on 100. Um, it's super fast. It has enough view range to be able to spot for itself with coated optics like I use. Um, it has tier 9 DPM. The only thing it doesn't have is very good pen and very good alpha. So that's the only thing that you've got to make up for, really, when you play this tank. For me, it was 1.5 thousand. Uh, it is definitely higher than this. It is 1.8, my prediction. My prediction is around 1.8. Check out in the index page. I'm curious. Um, my camera rating isn't that good when I'm on the move. It's only really good when I'm stationary. I just saw a tree fall there. That's actually really bad for me. Um, but I'm going to still make this aggro play for a little bit of giggles and a little bit of fun. Let's see if I can make this work. Oi, oi. This tank actually could be the worst tier 6 tank destroyer. Hello, if I buy this tank with battle po points, uh, can I send it to earn some credits? Uh, is it even a good idea? I think you can do that. I think you can do that. Alright boys and girls, you ready to see what 26% camo looks like? Thirteen seventy five just spotted me. Oh, yeah. Well, that Lorraine couldn't see me at all. Gotta wait for my camo. Oh, no, I don't. That was a really bad shot. That was 10 out of 10 sleepy shot. So that's somewhat... SM's actually got pretty good camo. Uh, not good camo. Pretty good view range. Ah, oh, shit. It's okay. I know nothing in this game, fellas. It is, it is so damn annoying. It is so damn annoying. It is... <laughs> Tomorrow, whenever we will play with the tank destroyers to raid them, right? we are going to have a nice sleeping session. I'm thinking about running right now. I know that 1375 will probably nail me, but I don't feel like I can do much else. Either I'm spotted the whole time or he didn't see me there. We are going to sleep with a big smile on our face. I'm on Twitter now. Kevin Bladiful. I have a Twitter account and honestly I do not use it. Wait for my camo. I don't know, I just don't find the passion for Twitter. If you need to have a passion for that, right? Okay, I need to drop back from that position. 
dude, my brain's not really working very well at the end of the evening. Mm. This tank is so good, fellas. Too much sarcasm. My ass is burning from quantity of sarcasm. No bushes or whatsoever, by the way. Oh no, it's this tank doesn't need bushes. That's what's crazy about it. Like, I could pretty much just rock up here and then sit still. And there's not much that they can do about it. Obviously, bushes can still help a little bit, but it's more about the... Uh... I don't really have enough ammunition to spare on this 1375 blind firing. Mm -hmm. All we need to do... We need to see this tiger making pressure in front. Давай, tiger. Go in front. Go in front, buddy. Oof. Did I play the E50 tonight? I mean, look on the screen. I wanted to wait for the camo net to activate. I see. I mean, I heard many, many, many bad things about the Twitter and about the discussions there and so on, so on. But some people are seeing good things in the Twitter and potential if they are willing to buy it for 50 billion or whatever, right? A lot of people might think I'm crazy for not using a gun rammer on this tank, and I respect the opinion. But I feel like the possibility of doing outrageous things with this vehicle outweighs the benefits of the uh, slight DPM increase. Again, just my opinion. I decided to load gold for this Su-101. 44 billion, sorry, 6 billion there, 6 billion there, oh come on. Not a big difference. I sit still they won't be able to see me I don't think. Ah he couldn't see me or he got unlucky. I'm pretty sure I wasn't I, I re-stealthed there. I'm pretty sure I re-stealthed. I don't think he missed me because he aimed aimed at me. Let's see him. Ain't enough with this tank is pain in the ass to play with. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this tank is a pain in the ass to play with. I don't think this gun handling is that bad, but honestly, compared to the other tanks we played so far, this is quite shit gun handling. Some SM is a. Uh... Doing some things. Jesus. The cockroach escapes. Trust me, you don't want to let this thing escape. What do you think for a tank destroyer standards? How I should rate this gun handling? I'm curious. Twitter is promoting myself. I learned it from the best. Easy. Easy, my man. Three, three. You know, more 
More opinions from one to five? I have a number in my head as well. Four. So you think this is this gun as good as uh, Baza, which we played before? This is such a big pain in this. You need to be so damn patient with this vehicle. I mean, okay, you need to be patient with many, many tank destroyers out there, but with this one especially. Greetings, King Baboon. Um, what you can do when your teammates are not cooperating, feeling feeling like you are losing the games only from the lack of cooperation, it's driving me nuts. Don't fuck with your, don't uh, fuck your brain with the teammates. Look at yourself, be selfish. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. I know, unfortunate. Night House Kill can say something like this, but the thing is, it's randoms. If you are happy with your performance, you are happy. Uh, and your teammates, you know, you can you can say, oh, I played very, very well. I took one for the team, and my teammate after that farmed someone. You know, this is, if this is what you want. You will improve so much more for playing better yourself and by being a bit more selfish, right? In the same time, you can look at this how uh, um, you need to have a balance in between, right? And if you are seeing your uh, teammates are not playing that well, treat them as a new players, obviously with respect, um, and just let them do them, you know, that's about it. Please do not mention Voldemort in the stream. Please. Oh, two days ago I had a battle on Malinovka and I was proud that our team uh, st stuck together and worked together and turned a loss into the win. Nice. Congratulations. Hmm. Respecting... Uh, Fellas, please. No Voldemort in the chat. I repeat, no Voldemort in the chat. Disgusting, you know? Unbelievable, fellas. Oh, Jesus, I, I totally lit. I totally, my brain just stopped working. Honestly, that was just sleepy. Oh, well. Good thing this tank's so good, I can literally be half asleep and still be able to uh, dominate that guy. What the hell? My bad.
Oh, dude. I didn't even realize. This is not very good. We need to figure out how the fuck we're supposed to survive against the Ergoshem. That's what we need to do. Front line in position, not in the mode. Oh. Okay. Boy, I think I'm gonna get blind fired by the T-3485. I already had a good battle today with a Progetto. Hopefully my T28 prototype can play. Oh dude, the T28's flipped, I didn't realize. My bad. The question is who the fuck spotted me? The question is who the flying fuck spotted me? Let's see. What is the chance of this Ergashem sitting here? What do you think? Well, unfortunately for me, I'm properly locked down in this place. The thing is, this is very, very bad thing, because if this E25 will get close, I will get proxy spotted. That fucking garden. No Voldemort in the chat. Disgusting fellas. How dare you? No, every single time. Every single time. Can we have a Voldemort emoticon in the chat? I would appreciate that a lot. Thank you. And enough. Do we have mods in the chat currently? Good luck mods. Good luck Antraxicus. You got this. I believe you got this my man. I believe so. I didn't realize the T28 was flipped, dude. This is not easy to play with this vehicle. Poor Antraxicus. This amount is wild. Thank you. Okay. Sub-only mode. 
You're crossing the line, fellas. No one gives a shit, okay? Please. With all respect, no one gives a fucking shit. Me try harding so much? I mean, I didn't realize, like, I've been playing nonchalant the whole game, playing like a dick. And then I get there and I see this guy on the enemy team in a Churchill game carrier? Oh my god. I mean, I gotta try now, right? A little bit, at least. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to save this T28, though. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. There we go. There is nothing what we can change about this. We need to, we need to chill and we need to wait. That's all we need to do. I do not know where the fuck is this T28 prototype is, and that's a problem. Unfortunately, I don't have any HE shells. I have no idea if this is where the SU is here. This Er Gashem, I really doubt he's going for a base defense. I just simply cannot do absolutely anything about this. This is not the tank we can change the outcome of this battle. We need to be, we need to be very, very patient. I just got a delay for a little while. Fellas, do not, do not spoil the... Where enemies are, okay? That's not nice. That's just slow. That is just slow, fellas. Please do not spoil where enemies are sitting at. That's just low. It's not nice. It's not classy. No one gives a shit about this. Please. I know exactly what will happen. They have no bloody... Oh, kurva. What the fuck happened here? Unfortunately, I don't think my T-28 is going to be able to get there in time. I know where their RT is now. Alright, well, this is going to be very, very... Tough. It's gonna be really hard to um, to dig the Churchill game carry out. I know how to deal with this situation with this tank. It will take some time until T28 will try to make pressure for us. And what we need to do, we need to sit here in the bush. I am feeling completely fine with this. You cannot make pressure with this vehicle. You just simply cannot do that. The Churchill's probably sitting up in that bush aiming at me right now. But I have to try and do this just to try and win the game, if that makes sense. It's probably going to be able to kill me, but I don't think they're going to be able to kill the T-28 with one, in, one minute and 30 seconds left on the game. He's going to be sitting in that bush, or sitting in this bush. So what we are going to do, we are going to take this angle here, and we will wait until the C-25 will go... Because he will. Or sitting in this bush... matter of the time. I'm gonna go around this way. Then we're gonna switch. We believe. Oh, oh, fellas. Beautiful. He might try to go here, but it's not changing absolutely anything. 
then we could go on the hunt. It's probably in this bush. Probably in this bush. Probably in that bush. Hmm. Okay, he's not going. He will try to go like this into the base. Or try to approach me like this, or maybe even like this. Does he have enough time to go through the other side? That's the question. Probably in this bush. Probably in this one. Come back any time. This bush. That bush. Sure. It's camping in the corner. Come on, Artie. Come on, Artie. Hit it. Hit it. Go on, get him. He's so far in the corner, you have to dig him out with a pickaxe. Okay, where is the T28 prototype? This is the question. Um, that was only one way how we can do this, fellas. Oh man, I wish I'd known from the start of the game. I wish I'd known from the start of the game because I had no idea, dude. I had no idea. Like, uh, I could see when I was underneath his gun line that I noticed who it was, you know? That was only one way how we can do this. That's okay. Draw is a draw. Nothing to change. We were playing with one of those type of tanks, right? So yeah. Man, if I had known, I would have been try hard from the beginning of the game. I'm still happy with the way that I played. Um, I wish I tried harder at the beginning though, dude. I had no idea. Ah, good kill. Got me, got me from the red line in the corner. It is completely fine, fellas. We are playing with a Churchill game carrier. What the fuck do, do, you, do you expect me to do against the full HP prototype, right? This tank has the best gun at the tier 6. No, the gun accuracy is not that great. It is not that great speaking about the gun accuracy. It, truly, it is truly not that good. I do not give a flying F who was the E25, fellas. I do not care. Please. I still feel like I gave it a good go. I should have probably played better there. I, if I'd known that it was a great player in a Churchill game carrier, I definitely wouldn't have gone and sat underneath their gun line. That's a big misplay by me. Like, I thought, like, AFK, nonchalant, you know? I wasn't, I wasn't thinking like it's someone who's good in a, in a Churchill game carrier, right? And it was, so, GG. So, yeah, it is completely fine. I'm happy with my performance, and we did absolutely everything properly, honestly. I'm feeling happy with this. Uh... I went, I, I, I shouldn't have pushed under the gun line and that's where I lost my hit points and then I didn't have the hit points to win the game. Nevertheless, they had some great players in their top tier tanks. I didn't have such great players in my top tier tanks. I'm happy with my impact. It was a good game. GG. I wish I had known what how was happening earlier on in the game but I didn't notice until the end. Yeah, GG. I'm still happy with 3000 damage and 1700 assistance. And if I hadn't had to go back and like literally um, flip my T28 back, yeah, I think I maybe would have stood a chance. Fellas, I do not give up flying F who I killed. No one cares. No one cares, fellas. No one gives a shit. Man, look at, look at their team. Look at their team. What is this? Like stacked matchup. Goodness gracious. Look at my team. What's this? What's this matchmaking? To be fair, what? how is that fair? I want the other team's matchmaking. Look at their top tier tanks versus mine. I think the fact that I got a draw out of that game was a pretty big result actually. And the fact that I had a chance to win if only my artillery had hit their shell at the end. GG, good game. Holy effing yeah, fellas, no one cares, no one cares, for real, no one does give a shit, believe me. Believe me, no one gives a shit, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, who we killed, who we met, no one cares. 
Holy effing F. Everyone is like... Uh, uh. Fellas, you are looking for drama. Yes, I did! And I'm proud of it! And you know what is even better thing? I was driving British tank. Here we go. Here we go. That's what you... That's what you was waiting for. That's what you was waiting for. You got it. You got it, fellas. Congratulations. Congratulations. You got what you were waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> ay, 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 ay.